being the God of my own life. And I justify because everyone else is doing it. And all of a sudden, we are sucked in to relativism. It's the wide gate and the broad way. And the word says, which leads to destruction. Do we have some crystal clear definitions now of the gospel of legalism and the gospel of libertinism? Any questions on that on along those lines? Okay. Now we want to go ahead and talk about the real gospel. This is the gospel we must preach and live. If we don't know what the gospel is, how are we able to lay foundation for the up and coming disciples? We must understand the gospel. So the gospel of grace, the gospel of Jesus, and the gospel of the kingdom is all synonymous. The gospel that John the Baptist preached, the gospel that Jesus preached, the gospel that Peter preached, and the gospel that Paul preached are all synonymous. And let me go ahead and share this with you. It's called the gospel of the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is literally a government. It is a spiritual government, and it is a natural government. Because when he rules and reigns on the inside, that we actually bear his nature because we have submitted our hearts to him. He's also the governor of our actions. So our character internally needs to look like Jesus and our actions need to look like Jesus. Amen. And I mean, it's summed up in this. Does it look like love? Oh, that's good. Yeah. For this is the royal law. And if we don't see it, then again, there's no condemnation here. If we're bumping our heads and getting sideways and yanked left and right, just repent. Yeah. Simple. Keep a short account with God. Don't woes me. Don't wallow in it. Don't justify it. Take one minute. Line back up and say, Papa, I was out of order. I repent. I changed my mind. I return to you relationally. Right. And we're going to have a conversation here. Why was I angry at my wife? Right. Right. Why, did I, why did I have greed hit my heart? What was that, God? Right. Why, was I, why did I have loyalty and federation to something that's higher than Jesus? What, 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 what's going on here? Yeah. We have a talk with Dad about it. Yeah. We get very honest. So this is not about punitive repentance about our behavior. It's relational repentance. If we have a heart towards Papa and we're connecting relationally, he'll deal with our behavior. We're not poo-pooing away behavior. Behavior is what is affecting each other, saints. If I get angry you know, at, at Glenn, it actually affects him. Was his behavior? No, it affected him if I didn't love. Yeah. So I repent, not only towards the Father, but also towards my brother. And I also repentance cannot be devoid of restitution. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. If you rip somebody off, repay them. Yeah. Yeah. True. I apologize. Now let me pay you back. I broke something. Oh man, I apologize. I repent. How can I fix that for you? I didn't hear any amen on that. This is real. This is all part of the gospel of the kingdom. So we want to now go to Mark 115. And we want to talk about the kingdom at hand, right? Yeah. So Mark 1, let's just go ahead and just go to, I told you I'm reading a lot of scripture today. Is that all right, folks? All right. We thank God for the scriptures. Amen. So let's go to Mark, because this is what was preached. Okay, 
So Mark 1.15, just so we bring it into the scriptures, and it's not Jeff's opinion here. Hallelujah. And so 1.15 says this. When the um says, I'll go to verse 14. Now after that John was put in prison, Yeshua came into Galilee preaching the good news of the kingdom, the gospel, the kingdom of God. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. This is what Jesus preached. He lived it and preached it. He says, repent, for there's another government in town. And the government is me. It's not Caesar. It's not the Pharisees. 